So my name is Julia Steinberger. I'm a professor at the University of Lausanne in the Institute for Geography and Sustainability. And I'm also a lead author on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, uh, uh, the third working group. What I really wanted to bring to people was this idea that the Intergovernmental inter Panel on Climate Change has really started taking this problem of de energy demand seriously. And there's a huge potential for um, investment and change and innovation in technology and infrastructure and also people's sociocultural practices in order to reduce energy demand and reduce emissions. I think that some of the, the research existed but it was very marginal and it's the first time that there's really been a dedicated chapter within an IPCC report saying, hey, what happens if we look at demand? Do we actually need it? What purpose does it serve? Can we do things differently? And once you ask the question, the solutions are there. So my message is always the same. It's that humanity and our species are at a very, very dangerous turning point. On our current trajectory, we're heading straight for disaster. And everybody needs to get involved. Nobody else is going to do this for us. So if anybody is listening to this and you think that climate scientists have it covered or the government is taking care of it or um, the desperate teenagers are taking care of it, that is not true. We all need to try to be doing everything we can, everything we can think about in order to stop our current trajectory and to turn us onto a pathway that's a lot safer. The good news is this latest report from the IPCC really shows that a possible safe trajectory exists. But the problem is that uh, very powerful forces, very powerful industries, very profitable industries stand in our way in terms of uh, um, trying to change things. I would say the main points for me is that this is one of the first times that the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has opened the box of looking at what we can do with reducing demand. And the solutions are there. We know that there's a path, that there are pathways that are possible for every sector, for every industry, for people to reduce their consumption and live well and reduce emissions within uh, trajectories uh, of 1.5 degrees. And the other important thing to know is that these trajectories are not automatic. So everybody really needs to act and to figure out within their own circumstances what they can do and step up because nobody else is going to do it for us. Quite the contrary, the array of forces that prevent action is extremely strong. And so we have to think about countering them.